Today, we are going to look at installing a ground fault circuit interrupter receptacle. Before installing a GFCI, be sure to check local codes for any permit requirements. The first thing you're going to do for the install is turn off the breaker that feeds the circuit. Use your voltage tester and make sure the power is off for the device you're working on. Next, remove the receptacle cover and then the receptacle itself from the device box. You'll want to verify that the device box is suitable for a GFCI receptacle. Disconnect the wiring from the existing receptacle. If it is a GFCI receptacle you are removing, take note if the wires are only connected to the line side or if some of the wires are connected to the load side. Be sure to install the new device using the provided ground terminal to connect the device to the ground. The brass terminals are for the hot wires and the silver terminals for the neutral wires. Once these steps are complete, reinstall the device into the electrical box. Then reinstall the device cover. You'll then need to turn the breaker on to test the receptacle. You may have to reset the receptacle in order to turn power on for the first time. These types of receptacles are designed to be tested monthly. To test, press the button on the front to make sure it turns off and then using the reset button to turn it back on. If either of these buttons fails to work, the receptacle must be replaced. Be sure to contact an electrical service provider if you have any installation, electrical questions or needs.